Rasulullah told us that after we put our dear brothers or sisters in the grave and as we are leaving, Rasulullah said, they hear our footsteps. And then the two angels came, come down, and they ask those three questions. Extremely, extremely important moment because after that, literally after that, our final destination is determined. Rasulullah said, a window of Jannah. First, he said, a window of the hellfire will be open and the person will see it. He gets scared. They said, that was supposed to be your place. But now, this is your place and a window of Jannah will be opened in the, in the grave. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us this glad tidings while we are in the grave. So, ya akhwan, with all this ibadah that we are performing, the salat and the siyam and the donations, add to it the dua because the dua is one of the greatest methods of thabat. So the dua is, Allahumma thabitni bil qawl thabit fi al hayat al dunya wa fi al akhira. Ya Allah, give me thabat. Keep me steadfast on this deen in the dunya and in the akhira. We need thabat on performing the acts of worship, thabat on salat, thabat on dhikr, thabat on coming to fajr, thabat on reading the Qur'an. We need thabat to stay away from the major sins. We need thabat to be able to fight all these temptations and multiply that by a million times for our children. Beg Allah Azza wa Jal, because He's the only one who can give thabat. He's the only one. Even, I always repeat that because this is mind-boggling, even the, the, the best man ever created, Allah told him, وَلَوْلَا أَنْ ثَبَّتْنَاكَ لَقَدْ كِدْتَ تَرْكَنُوا إِلَيْهِمْ شَيْئًا قَلِيلًا Ya Muhammad, if I did not keep you steadfast, you would have inclined a little bit to them. If Rasulullah Wasallam need thabat, what about this Abd al-Faqir? What about all of us, ya akhwan? So this is something that we really uh, in dire need to constantly repeat this dua.